Hi, I'm Danae. I'm a part-time illustrator and I wanted to talk about how much money I made from my small art business in 2022. I'm going to walk through the three income sources that I had from my small art business, which were Etsy, Shopify, slash Squarespace, and in-person craft or art markets. So it's probably better to start by saying how much I made in total. So my total revenue for all of 2022 for my art business solely was about $6,730. So that's about 10% of what I make for the entire year because I have another full-time job as a copywriter. But I'm kind of trying to work towards in the new year to balance that out more 50-50. So half copywriting, half my art business. So I'm really looking to grow it a lot more this year. But for 2022, that's how much I made, $6,730. Keep in mind that that's the total revenue, so that doesn't include fees, marketing, materials, anything like that. That's just how much I earned from my sales across Etsy, Squarespace, slash Shopify, and in-person craft markets. The best way to look at that number is probably to compare it to my income from 2021. So for all of 2021, where I did mostly just Etsy and a little bit my own website, I made $1,218. So I made about five times as much in 2022 as I did in 2021. And I didn't up my marketing that much. Um, I did participate in more Instagram challenges. Kind of, I was more active on Instagram, I guess, but most of my sales came from Etsy SEO, which just increased basically exponentially this year, last year. I also think the more sales that you have, the more regularly new sales will come in, especially on Etsy. So let's start with Etsy. So my total revenue on Etsy in 2022 was about $6,213. And from that amount, I spent $1,218 on Etsy fees, which is by far the biggest profit um, killer, I guess you would call it. It really, the fees really take a lot out of how much you earn. And you really need to take those fees into account when you're pricing your product. I spent about $700 on materials, so that would include sticker paper, um, I did buy a new printer this year, little things like scissors, um, sticky tape, photo paper for my art prints, just all those little things that I need to make my stickers and greeting cards. And I spent about $423 on marketing or Etsy ads, which I don't think was worth it at all. I think I just broke even, may even have lost a bit of money there. I think Etsy ads are just not worth it at all if you're selling low value products like stickers and mini art prints like I am because you're spending three dollars a day and you might make one sale from the ad you sell a sticker for five dollars but then you only make something like three dollars in profit out of that five dollars so then you're essentially earning nothing whereas if you spend three dollars a day and you sell something that's worth fifty dollars and you make one sale then your profit margin is going to be significantly higher so I think Etsy ads are only really worth it if you're selling high value products just didn't work for me. Um, I might consider it again later when I have more high value products in my store, but when I'm just selling stickers, it's definitely not worth it at all. Less how much I spent on marketing materials and Etsy fees. My total profit for 2022 on Etsy was $3,929. It's a pretty decent amount. Um, it's not that much when you consider the entire 12 month period, but the amount that I've earned has increased as the months go on and it's been more in November and December than I ever made earlier on in the year. So it's on the uptick and I'm hoping that that trend will continue into 2023 and beyond. So next is Shopify or Squarespace. I first opened my Shopify store as a way to diversify my income and not put all my eggs in one basket with Etsy, especially with Etsy increasing their fees, shutting down shops without warning, things like that. I didn't want to lose my entire business if I somehow lost my Etsy shop. So that's why I created my own website. I transferred everything over from Etsy onto there. Unfortunately, it wasn't profitable for me this year. I earned about $322.90 from the last few months of the year where I have my website up, but I spent $475 on fees. So I actually lost money. Um, my total profit, if you can call it that, was minus $102. So yeah, I lost money there. I really had a lot of trouble getting buyers to shop on my website instead of Etsy. I know some people say that they don't trust a random website and they'd rather go to a higher profile website like Etsy where they know 
they know you know it, it, it's a trustworthy website um, even though my prices are lower on my website I can understand that people are more willing to go to Etsy and my Etsy SEO brings in a lot of my buyers but what I've started doing is including little thank you cards I'll just grab one I've included these little thank you cards in all of my orders and they've just got a QR code that goes to my website with a 10% off code so I'm hoping that people that have bought from Etsy when they get this and they want to buy something else they'll then go to my website instead and the last category is art and craft markets I did one craft market in 2022 I think it was in September it was my first market so I wasn't really sure what I was doing I watched a lot of YouTube videos actually to learn how to prepare for the market, what to expect, what I needed to bring, how to set up my display, how much money I could anticipate making, etc. All I really wanted to do was make at least one sale because a lot of my online sales come from interstate or overseas buyers, especially in the US. So I wasn't sure if there would be as much of a market for my products in my local area, but I ended up doing pretty well. I made about $194 in the three or so hours that the craft market ran for. And the table fee was 40 so it was just a small market, an indoor one on a Sunday, a random Sunday in September, so I think that was pretty decent. It was kind of busy, there was a period around lunchtime where it really dropped off and there, I didn't get any sales for, the, for a whole hour, but it picked up again towards the end of the market. I didn't need to buy new products because I already had all my stickers and greeting cards and art prints ready, so all I needed to do was spend a bit of money on display materials like a tablecloth and some little bowls and signs to set up my display. Less the $40 table fee and the about $50 or so that I spent on display materials. My total profit was $140 and I was pretty happy with that. It was my first market. I, Like I said, I just wanted to make at least one sale and I ended up making about 30 or 40. So I'm really happy with that result and I'm looking forward to doing more art and craft markets this year. Moving on to my goals for 2023, I have four main goals which are do more art and craft markets. As I just mentioned, I really enjoyed the, the craft market that I did back in September. I was going to do more um, towards the end of last year, but unfortunately they were cancelled because it was raining pretty much all through November and December. But I do have one coming up in February, and then I'm hoping to book a few more throughout the year. And once I get used to it, it might be something that I do once a month, maybe. I'd like to start a Patreon account, maybe do something like a sticker club or come up with some other idea for digital products that I could offer. Something I need to do more research in that area, but starting a Patreon has been a goal for a long time. I want to grow my YouTube account, which I've already started doing. My main goal is basically just to upload once a week and see what happens. I'm not going to set any subscriber goals or watch hour goals or anything like that because I don't want to disappoint myself, but uploading once a week is something I think I can stick to. Fourth goal is to start doing regular shop updates. Um, I noticed a lot of sellers that are more successful will, instead of just adding products to their shop here and there like I do, like I might just add one sticker one day and then not add anything for a while and then add another sticker as I design them. I noticed a lot of people instead of doing that they will work on their products kind of in batches and then build up hype for those products by sharing them, sharing little previews and sneak peeks on Instagram and then they'll do like a big shop update maybe once a month and with all that hype that's built up people are excited, they know that it's coming and then they have time to just pack all those orders as they come through when the shop opens and then they can close their shop then they can just focus on packing orders and preparing for the next shop update which seems like a really efficient way to run a business because at the moment I'm just trying to balance making new products and packing at the same time and updating my SEO, updating my website. It's just not an efficient way to run things. So I'm looking, so I'm hoping to make that change and start doing proper organized and maybe themed shop updates in 2023. I'm also hoping to create some more products, especially high value products like tote bags that I might be able to sell for something like $20 as opposed to my $4 stickers and maybe more enamel pins, t-shirts, hoodies, bucket hats. There are many things I could try. So I'm pretty excited for all those changes. If you're planning on starting your art business this year or if you have started one and you're working on growing it, um, I hope this video was helpful, gave you some insight into what you can expect to make in your first or second year running a small art business. Um, 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe and all those things. Hit the bell if you want to receive notifications for new videos. I'm planning to upload about once a week. And thank you for watching. Bye.